This game, um, yeah, the voice acting in this game is cool. I did not expect another to take on my challenge, but I'm pleased to see that in the end another brave soul decided to try. Well, I was told that your name is Giacomo, so I bid you welcome. Thanks, I guess. You just entered the labyrinth, and your task is simple. You need to find your way to the other side. I, of course, put a few little obstacles in your path. But if you will be careful and diligent in your search, Giacomo, I'm sure you will prevail. That is all I will say for now. Well, I suppose I should wish you, like I wished all those before you, good luck. And more importantly, an open mind. If you prove to me that you are worthy to be my apprentice, I will meet you again on the other side of the labyrinth. Thanks. <laughs> what a cryptic old man. So, when you when you finish this chapter, you realise that there's no way in hell anyone can finish this 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 this, this trial he puts to people unless they have this it's it these, these puzzles require you to have this to get through them so i can imagine everyone who came here was came to this spot <laughs> figured out they couldn't do anything and just left it was just quite, quite cruel on leonardo's uh on leonardo's part what a bastard anyway again leonardo's vinci with a, a very british accent i just I don't know. I think maybe Blue Point Games is set in England. I'm not sure if they uh, if they're an English um, game company or not. I mean, it'll be kind of it makes sense if they were to use um, British voice actors. I mean, a, a small indie company wouldn't have the the stupid money to go out and and, and employ regional voice actors. I mean, they probably could. But it'll be like hire somebody and then pay for them to come here, stay for goodness how long to redo their voices and then send them home, or just pay someone in England and not have to worry about paying their uh, their fare, their travel fare, and uh, hotel and God knows what else. Probably their dinner. Yeah, screw that. Uh, this come this this convent recently underwent a reconstruction, with which I assisted greatly using several of my inventions. Thanks to this, the, the prior allowed me to use this beautiful garden as a venue for my trial. Uh, it consists of a number of items, tools, and supplies borrowed from the Covent stores and inventories. For each different task, I repurpose them into mechanisms and brain teasers. I want to make sure that you are observant, able to perceive the very essence of things, and know how to think logically. Get to the other side of the labyrinth, and I will gladly accept you into my service. Yeah, th so this this trial that he sets out is impossible for anyone who doesn't have the Ocular Perpetua. Like, you have to go through time to, to manipulate certain events. <laughs> it's so cruel. There's something up there. Where is two half meter each? It's something... Yeah, so when you first come into this, you think, oh, this is a nice small level. You know, you got this here, which... moves a plant but the plant is like lamp to um oh i can't even click on the plant that's weird um this this here as you can see Ooh. something here we don't have something we'll need later on so there's there's two things that we need we need this plant because it's obviously holding this wheel that we need So we have to manipulate that. Um, we can't go in here because we need something there. But the only way to go is either on this table, which has nothing on, or and this bloody pillow. The prayer nut. And these go that way. That way. Hello. Starship's crank. 
Let's have a look at it. Got two pins. Now, do we see anything with two pins? Does this have two pins? It does not. So, that's obviously useless for now. Can't do anything with that. Um, I think there's something on one of these, but I think it's there's like here, but I think it's in. Yeah, yeah the the only thing I dislike about um about using the the Oculus is every time you go through um through the other side, it has a super bright white screen, and like. I um when I play these games, I play in the dark basically. And yeah, having a massive, <laughs> super bright screen in my um, white screen in my face is a uh... <sighs> feels like someone's shining a bloody light in my eyes. So this disc looks familiar. I know where this goes. It goes in here. But as you can see, this is this is locked now in the past and there's no little nut here to open this so the only thing we can do with this is to go back to the present uh, we need to open this to move the plant as you can see the plant's not grown up yet in fact we can't even go i can't even look up any higher than this um what else have we got oh no we can't there we go there's no wheel uh there's no um entrance there's no ca cabinet here anymore so I think this this whole pavilion shifts. It moves. It like rotates. Unfortunately, I can't look behind me, so I can't show you. But yeah, there's a uh, there's nothing else we can do in here at the moment. Back in. Yeah, I always have my eyes closed when I go through them. So this goes in. Yeah. This puzzle always confused me. I I didn't I didn't see the logic behind it. Like, I assumed it's like this and this equals this, but it's not impossible. Because, obviously, 8 and 5 doesn't equal 5, 1, 2, or 3. So, from what I remember, these numbers, if you ignore these numbers for now, I think, as I said, I normally run through these games before I record, and... Um, so that I don't stand here all day trying to figure out the solution. But um I think it's it's whatever you put here and here equals whatever numbers here. So it's it's it would have to be say five and like three. Five and three equals eight. But I don't I don't think that's the solution. What would it be? Three and two equals five. Two and one equals three. And yeah, that should be it. Yeah. So it's whatever those numbers is equals the numbers on the outside. Yeah, because every time I do this, I always think that you have to put this here. Whatever numbers at the bottom is that and that together. Or that taking away that. But yeah. Basically, that that together equals that. That two and one equals three. One and five equals six. Five and three equals eight. Started off with um slightly difficult, I guess, depending on if you just. I mean, you could just wing it. I mean, it's probably not the best just to wing something, but uh, I always like to find the solution instead of just actually just guessing it. Because when I replay it, I don't want to have to get stuck in it again. I'd rather know the solution beforehand. Especially if I'm playing a game. I could I could look online for a cheat, but I'd rather learn. This puzzle's quite easy. Uh you have to get um this chap all the way down here. But he has to go through all the um all these dots. This is like a typical um H G puzzle. There's only one way you can go. So I think he goes down here and across, down there, yeah. So these move him left, up and down, and these move him left and right. I think it should be this. We'll go down. Just down there. Go left. Then we'll go up. We wanna go? We don't. Yeah, we don't wanna go there. We wanna go up. We will keep going up. 
can keep going up. We'll go that way. We'll go down. Then we'll go up again. Down. Down. And... Oh, don't you do that, you little shit. And down. Oh. That one's crazy. Um, I've played so many of these types of puzzles where you have to, like, get everything, um, copy, like, drag a ball over all the um, stupid orbs a lot of like like i said a lot of hg games use them which is uh this one moves all by itself Oh, you bastard. So what moves this one then? Not that one. Not that one. So this moves... So this has to be moved there. You don't move this one. It's so close. <laughs> you little shit. As if. Let's put that there. There we go. <laughs> as if. As if I needed just that millimetre and it wouldn't let me. I have absolutely no idea this solution for this puzzle. I, I don't I don't understand it at all. You, you have to press these in an order. And um I I I don't I don't know the logic behind it. I never have. Like there's not a sequence. Like it's not one skip one then press another one. It's and is there a I don't know if there's a, a solution anywhere for this one, but I wonder if it's these, actually. You know, it probably is. Holy shit. I've only just realized that these are actually the uh, zodiac signs. Hold on, which one do I press first again? It's, um. Is it the sheep? Is that a sheep? Just like a horse with a, some weird spine on its back. Is it a spine horse? No, so sheep. If we go in order from where we went, it's sheep, lion, someone with a balance, and see if that's right. Um, sheep. So no. Sheep, lion. Yes, it is. Holy shit! I've played this game multiple times, and I've never known the solution for that was here. So it's it's whatever you go through. It's sheep, lion, the the balance thing, centaur, Gemini. So it's it's horse, people, fish, and then some kind of weird dog thing. Horse. Uh, let's have a look. Horse. Horse. Fish. Oh. No, it was horse people than fish. Wow. You can tell I've got like a stupidly short attention span. That's like, what was that? Like like a goldfish? Is it like a three second memory? Uh, horse. People fish. Don't do it again. I almost did the same thing again. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I, uh, I I'm surprised that I don't suffocate when I'm asleep because I forget to breathe. Wow, so the solution for that puzzle is in the puzzle you just done recently. Wow. So, and it took me like... <laughs> like six playthroughs to know that. I always just wing it. I mean, it's not... It's a sequence. It's not fucking... You can't... It's not rocket science. 
But uh, yeah, wow. Well, thanks, past me. So uh, this goes right here. Um, you know what? I think I missed something. Yes, I did. My eyes. There's this on the table. I completely forgot about this. It's for this. Wow. I was just completely forgot about this. In fact, I thought this um this heart thing was something else entirely. This can be a pain in the ass to interact with. You have to find like uh, you can slightly see that this is raised up. I can slightly see it. Like, only slightly. This is another easy thing. You have to get the symbols to match this. So we're looking for a diamond, two circles, and a big blue circle. Which is this one. Diamond, two circles, big blue. Right, put that there. This one is two circles and... No, two, two, two silver circles and one diamond. Not that. This one. That's over there. This one is. Uh, this one. Oh, see, now there's only. There you go. Easy. This makes a nice noise. <laughs> Made such a satisfying noise. <laughs> Uh, this puzzle is quite easy. You have to match the uh, these weird abacus things up with an image in the background. You can rotate it using this, which is pretty sure you have to rotate there and then flip. Then you just have to line these uh, add these orbs with the orbs in the background. Simple, really. There you go, and then. Best thing about having a notebook is your boy notes down um, the solution for you. He actually re he <laughs> oh wow he actually writes a solution down for the bloody table puzzle in his notebook. Can you tell how many times I actually look for the solutions in the notebook? I never do. I never do. Uh, is that new? In my head, the unpleasant encounter with the Duke played again and again during my whole journey to Milan until I finally arrived at my destination. The covenant of Santa Maria delle Dele Grazie? Grazie? Uh, I was surprised that the trial is to take place in the covenant's garden covered by the freshest fallen snow. I should have expected something like this. So it was winter. No wonder it was bloody icy in the prison. I was just surprised he didn't get like um, frostbite on his um, toes and his fingers and the in a prism, no, because it didn't have, look like he had bed in. Um, I should have expected something like this. After all, it's said that Leonardo loves surprises. I was woken by the master himself, but I must confess my disappointment. I could not see him probably as he was talking from a balcony and seemed to be in a bad mood. Aren't we all, mate? Aren't we all? Never mind. I need to concentrate on the tasks on the trial, and I cannot fail. Poor Giacomo. I oh, can't scare for that stupid saying of that word. Uh, take this. Uh, we can't use this yet. So, yeah. A lot of times I've tried to interact with this. Thinking, oh, th th these open. Surely, or oh, this comes up. No. Can I not turn this? You know, and then I've spent like 10 minutes trying to open this. Realizing, like, you're not supposed to. Forget about it. It's not to be used just yet. Right. So, this looks familiar, doesn't it? These orbs. So, if we look in our notebook, we will see that the... Uh, oh. He kind of left it there. I, it's, I, I, don't, I don't see the point. Why would you do that? That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. Yeah, this uh, these turn the tiny ones turn and the big one turns. You have to find um, holes that they match in. Um, uh, I think maybe so. 
the night boots. This, but... Yeah, look, that can't go there. There's a triple down here. Let me go here. Aha! As soon as one goes in, they all have to fit. See? So... The easiest one is obviously the triple. To get three... Like, three of those, um circles in one um in one sphere is much easier than trying to find two. Uh this goes Genium. Let's see all these birds are just frozen in midair. 